Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the four steps I made to go from that to this. Four steps. If you follow those steps, I guarantee you, you will achieve your fitness goals. Now, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's go on a bike ride. Let's get to it. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you the four steps I made to achieve my body transformation. Where I went from this to that in 300 days, not 30, 300. It didn't even feel like it was that long. It, the time just went by and I melted everything away. Now, the purpose of this video is pretty much two reasons. Number one is to help out as many of you as possible to achieve your fitness goal, whatever it is, either for health reasons, for cosmetic reasons, or you just want to go on a special event. Even though getting your dream body for a special event and then go back to your old body, it's not healthier than just staying where you are, as you are right now. So if that's you, think about it a little bit harder. <laughs> but anyway, second reason is, hopefully I will stop getting the question, what is a good ab exercise? <laughs> that seems to be the trend these days. Hey, can you tell me what is a good ab exercise? I see you in this picture and you look like your belly's hanging over. And then in this other picture, you like completely transformed. What, what do you do for your abs? And it's partially my fault because in the 300 videos, all you saw was me working out and just rambling about who knows what, which is, this video is kind of the same thing, but hopefully I'll be a little more informative in this one. So, in those 300 videos, I just worked out. You just saw one aspect of my journey, only one. If you watch all 300, you might have gotten what I actually did, but who has time to watch 300 videos over 200 hours worth of videos? So, I, I don't have that much time. I'd rather just execute watch a short video hopefully this one is short short enough that you can sit and watch for information purposes so that being said here's step one. First step of the four steps is wanting to do it that is the easiest step you want it really bad you really want to make a change in your life. You want to lose the weight, you want to be healthier, you want to be more active. You really want to. Now, in all these four steps, before I continue with the next step, <laughs> in all these four steps, the key is to be consistent. If you cannot achieve consistency in any of these four steps, this is just gonna crumble on you. It's not gonna work. It might take you a little bit where you can, where you're gonna make a notice, noticeable difference, but not enough to actually achieve your goal. So consistency, be realistic, and be honest to yourself. Can you be consistent? Can you do it? Like, are you gonna be able to do it? So step number one is really want to do it. How bad do you want it? Do you really want to achieve that goal for whatever reason it is? Health, pleasure, leisure, whatever it is. Can you do it? I mean, do you want to do it? Step one is completed. Then we go to step number two. And step number two is exercise. And again, in this step, you have to be consistent. It's not like, oh, I'm just going to work out once or twice a week, go really hard at the gym, and do that once or twice a week, every week, and I should get there. <clears throat> Lay out a plan, a plan of attack. 
what type of exercise you're gonna do. I know it's kind of my fault that I only showed you all the lifting weight exercises on my videos, this core and cardio videos where I just pushed on a corner because this is not really fun, fun for most people to watch. So kind of my fault. This is kind of the main exercise that helped me achieve my goal. Believe it or not. <laughs> this is kind of the main exercise that helped me achieve my goal. But anyway, back to exercises. You do want to exercise. And exercise can be as little as going for a walk. But again, you have to be consistent. Start little, start really small. And let's say you decided to go for a walk, which is a form of exercise, it's a form of cardio. Go for a walk and say how many times a week you're, gonna, you're going to walk. I personally, since I know myself, I decided to work out every single day. That way I do not make an excuse of skipping an exercise and be like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow with the next exercise. No, I'll do it today and today is the day I have to do it, which is why most of my exercises were super easy to do. Like it will not take a long time to do it. It's just like, even if I don't have time, because I do not have any time in my life to spend an hour and a half, two hours, three hours at the gym, I don't have that. So I have to find something easy to make me be in motion, to be active, and I can do it every day. It will not hurt my time budget. So find something easy that you can do every single day. I know you will say, oh yeah, I can go for a run for like two or three miles, or a mile, one, two miles, I can run. Yeah, but what if it's running? What, what if it's raining? What if it's snowing? What if it's ice outside? What if you don't feel good to go for a run? You're like, eh, I don't feel like it. That hinders your consistency. So find something really easy. Start very small. If you look at day one of my exercises, of my 300 days fitness challenge, that was like 10 minute workout. And that was really, really lame looking back at it it was really lame it was a really silly exercise but it was small something i can do something most people can do very easy every single day so start very small but be consistent with your exercise that's step number two now step number three it's again consistency you have to be consistent, you have to be able to do the things that you said you were going to do when you said you were going to do. Be accountable to yourself. Be accountable to yourself. If you say you were gonna do something, do it. Which is why you have to be realistic with your goals and expectations. Because if you are going to work out in your workout you say oh I'm gonna go on a bike ride really hard I'm gonna do hit cardio you can't do that consistent consistent hard exercises are not very sustainable you can't push yourself really hard when you are 70% than when you are a hundred percent I know you're giving 100% every time, but your performance is not the same. So be realistic, set your goals a little bit low. Once you match it, if you can go farther than that, go for it. But do not struggle being like, oh, I was supposed to run for an hour. It's only been 30 minutes. Your failures are gonna start catching up on you. Not because they're failures, more so because you set too high of expectations. So, consistency in all one, two, three, and four step are the key to success. Moving on to the fourth step. 
And the fourth step is an easier one, but also you have to be consistent with it. And it is stick to your diet. I know every time you hear the word diet, you think of this, but this doesn't necessarily need to be just salads or healthy stuff. You just have to be smart with what you eat. And this applies to all type of diets. Keto, vegetarians, vegans, carnivores, raw vegan, intermittent fasting. This applies to everything. Because your diet is healthy doesn't mean that you are going to lose weight. You're just eating healthier foods, but you can still gain weight eating healthy foods, which is why it's important to eat at a maintenance. Maintenance calories, finding out your maintenance calories is extremely important to achieve your fitness goals. You need to know what is coming into your body in order for you to know what you have to do in the day to achieve your goals. And it is simple as simple it could be. I know you've heard it a lot, you are what you eat, six packs are made in the kitchen, not at the gym. All that stuff is true, but we've said it too many times that it just became a cliche. All those sayings about diet, diets are important. Yes, but just don't grab a diet and run with it. Learn it, understand it, and see what works for you. Make sure that the key factor that will make that diet work is calories in and calories out. If you want to lose weight, you have to be on a calorie deficit. If you want to maintain your weight, you need to be at maintenance. And if you want to gain weight, which some people do, I was there at some point when I was a teenager, I wanted to gain weight. You just need to be on a calorie surplus. So, regardless of what kind of diet you have, keto, vegetarian, vegan, intermittent fasting, you're a raw, raw vegan or raw, <laughs> you eat raw meat, a paleo diet, uh, the way for you to either lose, gain, or maintain your weight is with the calories. You need to track your calories. Be consistent with it. Be very consistent with it. Now, a little bit off topic is that remember that calories in doesn't just apply to foods, also applies to drinks. A lot of the things that we drink have calories and those will help you gain weight if you want to lose weight, which is the majority of people want to lose the extra belly fat. You need to keep that in mind. Everything, that, Most of the things that you put in your mouth will have calories. So keep an eye on those, track them, find your maintenance calories. I'll leave videos in the description, links to videos in the description below to two videos on how to figure out your maintenance calories or you can do just like me uh, well I posted a video on how to figure out your maintenance calories uh, a couple days ago well, like a week ago <laughs> I posted a video on how to figure out your maintenance calories video is in the right there in the corner <laughs> and in the description below as well so I'll leave three links down there for how to figure out your maintenance calories. All right, so that's pretty much it. The four steps to achieve that I use to achieve my fitness goals were wanting to do it really bad. How bad, ask yourself, how bad do you want to? How bad do you need it? If it is really bad, make the first step, which is start working out. Well, that will be the second step. Start working out, start exercising. Go for a walk, go for a bike ride. This is what I'm doing here. It doesn't matter how cold it is, how hot it is. I can do this every day. And am I going too hard in this bike? 
No, this is so easy. I can still talk. I can still talk and I am exercising. I know I'm not going balls to the walls really hard trying to break the world record. No, I just have to be in motion. I just have to be active. So that's number two. Make sure you are active, you are exercising and do it in small steps. Something sustainable, something that you can do consistently, which is step number three. Do it consistently. Make sure that whatever you choose to do, that whatever exercise you choose to do, regardless what it is, it is consistent. I will definitely recommend cardio on a daily basis or cardio at least 150 minutes a week. Very minimum 150 minutes a week. If you work out three times a week, split those 150 minutes in three. That's gonna be kind of tough. It's gonna be kind of tough splitting 50 minutes a day. That's why I work out every day. Because <laughs> it's only 25, I only do a minimum of 25 minutes a day. And then I do my workout, which is pretty good. But anyway, be consistent, stick to it. Start small with something that you can adhere to it every single day. It will not take a lot of willpower from you to get it done. That's number three, be consistent. Number four, stick to your diet. Be consistent with your diet. Watch what you eat. Stay within your calories. Figure out your calories, but stay within your calories. Take a picture on day one, please, and keep on going. Be consistent. I know the scale will go up and down. Do not get discouraged. That's the, the weight on your weight fluctuates from day to day, from hour to hour. It fluctuates. You can wake up now, weigh yourself, go to the bathroom, go watch TV, get up. An hour or two later, stand on the step on the scale, and you gain weight without eating anything. It it just happens. Your weight fluctuates from time to time, day to day, hour to hour. Do not get discouraged by the scale. What the scale says is just a number. I know you've heard that a lot too. <laughs> but anyway, if you need help um, with a diet that you can follow and start losing weight. Down in the description below, there is a cookbook that helped me personally to lose weight. And this cookbook, you don't have to eat everything in the cookbook. You don't have to make, make everything from the cookbook. But once you read and find the recipes that you like and start working out with the cookbook, hopefully it happens to you what happens to me. What happened to me is that my mind just got blown away. I learned so much from it that I took stuff from the cookbook and apply it to my foods. And the cookbook is, just as I said in the previous video, it's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much you can do with it. Follow or look at the link in the description below for the cookbook that will help you immensely and will help me too. But anyway, <laughs> uh, check it out. Actually, if you go to the website and sign up for the newsletter, you'll get three, I think it's three, is it two or three free recipes that you can try before you even buy the book. And good, delicious meals with lower calories, low dense food calories, which is the key on my particular diet low dense food that is low calorie dense food <laughs> can't even say the words <laughs> that definitely helped me being satiated full and not consuming a lot of calories and no it is not salads all over again it's not a book full of salads even though there are vegetables in it because vegetables are healthy but there's also all kinds of stuff. You can find also some vegetarian uh, meals in it. I'm pretty sure there are vegan meals also. But anyway, check it out in the links, links in the description below. 
you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, pound the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. I gotta get back to workout. Adios.